Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is from the 23rd to the 30th of September 2019. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you guys. This is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply, so just take what does and leave what doesn't. Check out your other placements for additional messages. And yeah, um, little heads up, I swear a lot. So if you get offended by swearing or you just don't like it, well then I guess this is where we part ways. Because I swear, and that's not going to stop. And if you leave a comment telling me, oh my god, you swear so much. Okay, I'm not going to stop. Like, So if that's the case, you don't like it, this is where we part ways. Have a blessed day. Thanks so much for watching like 30 seconds of video. And yeah, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know. And if you have kids around, put some headphones in. This is a PG-13, okay? Unless you want your kid yelling at the world, saying fuck, shit bitch, you know, I mean, I don't say it in a hurtful, hateful way, so, like, don't know why people get so triggered easily, it's a word, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, so, can't please everybody nowadays, <laughs> so take it or leave it, this is who I am, there's no mask here, let's get into your reading, Sag, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus regarding a love of career from now until the 30th of September 2019, are there any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love and career from now until the end of the month, really, the 30th, yeah. Yeah, the end of the month, wow. Almost October, what a mind fuck. Like, gosh. Well, messages we have for Sagittarius regarding love and career coming into this week, the last week of September. What can they expect? Any messages? Anything they should consider or take into accountability? Let's see. Any messages for Sagittarius? We have the Five of Pentacles. Any messages for Sag? Page of Pentacles. Any messages for Sagittarius? And Six of Wands. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like this might be a career-based reading. Now, I don't know, because this is just the pre-shuffle. Oh, we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is you guys. I feel compelled to take it. Ooh, hey, I'm seeing this Ace of Wands. Okay. I definitely feel like this might be more career-related, but we'll see when we get into the actual reading. But for your pre-shuffle, it's looking like you may be a little bit tight on money. Money might be tight. Maybe you're expecting money to come in. But right now, it's just a little bit stressful. Maybe at the home life, home situation. But I see that there's going to be an opportunity for, obviously, your work. Whatever you do for a living, whatever your career may be. Definitely an opportunity may come, or maybe it's a brand new idea for you, starting a new business or just starting a new job. Something brand new, though. There's a brand new idea, whether you're being offered this or you're coming up with this idea, and but I, it's going to be successful. We have the Six of Wands here. It's going to take off. Definitely go for it. If you know what I'm talking about, go for it. This is your message. This is a sign. You are meant to do this. Literally, we have the, we have the King of Wands. This is your energy, Sag. This is your energy. You're going to be successful. Stay persistent. Stay consistent. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Don't give up until you get what you want. Set those goals. Set those goals, Sag. Set them. Let's get into your reading. What messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love and career from now until the 30th of September 2019? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love and career from now? Until the 30th of September 2019. <clears throat> okay, my throat is like acting up. <laughs> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love and career? From now to the 30th of September 2019. Oh, well, I think that was death. Death reverse. So this could be an idea that you may have had in the past. If this is about your career maybe you had this idea a long time ago and now you're actually taking the initiative and going for it look at this eight of cups reversed i was just about to shuffle it once more and the nine of cups so you're returning to something whether this is a person you're returning to or this because I, I still feel compelled that this is about career. Now, I'm going to talk about this if it's a... I'll, first, I'll talk about career. Then I'll talk about relationship. But first things first, if this is about a relate... Sharp. First things first, if this is about a career and this is something that you were thinking about and it's an old idea that was in your mind, 
for a long time and it was always been an idea at the back of your head but you never took action i see you're returning back to this idea and it's actually going to work out in your favor we have the nine of cups here this is going to bring a lot of success a lot of happiness this is about a wish being fulfilled a desire being met something being successful something taken off the ground something it's like oh yes it's just it's kind of almost like the celebration of like something coming together something working out in your favor now if that's not about career this could be you still clinging on to a relationship a connection from the past and you may be returning to it and you returning to it it's actually going to be successful it's going to be really great it's going to bring a lot of happiness into your life it's going to bring just like stability and like a foundation and just like a lot of happiness either way whatever you're returning to gonna bring some happiness okay so let's just let's just kind of shuffle it once more okay let's get into your reading what messages do we have for sagittarius seven of wands page of swords any other messages for sag ace of cups okay yeah so Sorry, just like, literally, I don't know why my nose is like itchy as fuck. So something like, like I already discussed this card. Something that's, you haven't let go of. You're holding truth to your values and you're not giving up on what you believe in. You're standing your ground and you're defending yourself. You're defending what you believe in and you're not giving up on it. You're not giving up on this. You're not giving up on this. Like, I don't know why I just say that like three times, but it's just like, you are not giving up. Nobody can get in the way. Nobody can stop you. This is what you want and nobody can stop. Nobody can stop you. The only person that can stop you is yourself. We have the page of swords here. So it says at the bottom of the card, I take care of great detail and stay in control. So for some of you, if this is about a career, you could actually be signing documents or like signing papers so make sure you read the details make sure that you read the fine lines like read it and read it again to make sure you don't miss anything or you don't sign off on some shitty deal that ends up you know not working out in the end right also somebody could definitely be watching you from afar somebody could be keeping tabs on you that could be for some of you I don't know what I'm just I'm looking at this like first of all this kid in this card he kind of looks he looks <laughs> he kind of looks like not really impressed but you see this feather that he's holding it's almost like he has this feather up his sleeve and not not really many people know about this feather the secret this thing that's gonna benefit him in the future like he has something up his sleeve sagittarius you have something up your sleeve that's gonna help you in your favor something that, something you got something up your sleeve and they don't even know whoever like this is just like you got something up your sleeve and you're not afraid to use it to uh, your own benefit i don't know who needs to hear that but that was i just I, my eyes were drawn to that that feather and i mean he's not even wearing sleeves but it's just like imagine you have like a feather up your sleeve and nobody knows and you're just like ha look at this and like i don't know we also have the ace of cups here so um somebody new could come into your life emotional fulfillment oh my god so you hear that kid screaming in the background they're like oh that's gonna be you when somebody new comes into your life it's like ah! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like that kid that was screaming in the background. I don't know if you could hear it. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I need to calm the fuck down. But for those who are already in a relationship, I just see that your connection is just going to deepen. And for those who are single, I see that there are plenty of opportunities that may come that may actually grab your eye. Grab that attention. Catch your eye. Not grab your eye. Catch your, catch your eye. Grab your attention. There, I fucking... Got that mix and match. Oh my god. Let's go into your energy and then we're gonna go into your person after this, but let's just focus on you guys. Keep in mind if this doesn't resonate, this may actually be your person. You can swap the roles. Alright, let's put our time with the Sag. Sagittarius. My Sagis. Okay, 
Talking about death in reverse for Sagittarius. Look, Seven of Pentacles. See, this is about career. You're planting those seeds. You are being patient. Look at this. Knight of Wands. Talking about the death reverse. Woo! Little card explosion. Again, it's saying. Oh shit! Give me the lock. Oh, okay. So first card that came out, Seven of Pentacles. You are being patient. You're planting your seeds. You're watering, watering your ground. You're watering the grass you're standing on, and. Sorry about that. <laughs> you're watering the grass you're standing on and you're just waiting for your fruits of your labor to come in. Really, you're just waiting for it to work out. Like you put in the work, now you're just waiting for it to blossom. I see that you're definitely taking forward action. Definitely taking that forward action. And um, you're chasing after your dreams. You're chasing after what you want. You're chasing after it. And it's going to be successful. It's going to be really successful. We have the Six of Wands here. Success. It's going to work in your favor. This is literally saying you're going to have a victory. Sweet victory. And the Lovers Reversed. Let's actually go into this real quick. Tell me about the Lovers Reversed. Oh, the Tower. Tell me about the Lovers Reversed. Tell me about the Lovers Reversed real quick. Death. Nine of Swords. Oh. Oh my god, these cards are coming out like no tomorrow. Okay, so this is like a little side story I'm feeling. I don't know why, but I feel like this is a side story for some of you. So maybe this message won't apply for some. We have, this, we have the lovers reverse. So maybe this is something or somebody who has had a love connection that failed out in the past. There's going to be some kind of tower moment, some major realization, or just something of crumbling down. Like there's going to be a tower moment. And you may not even expect this to happen, but it's going to cause an ending. There's going to be some kind of ending here. And it may actually really stress you out and cause you to, like, freak out and be like, oh my god, what the fuck, I wasn't expecting this. Something unexpected. Something unexpected about somebody who you had a strong connection with. This may not even be, like, like a, like a relationship. This may just be somebody who is, like, somebody who had a huge impact on your life. And so suddenly something happens and it was unexpected and this leads to an ending, a complete ending here. We have death twice now. So it's like definitely some type of ending. You weren't expecting it. Therefore, now you're kind of stressing out about this situation. You know the truth about the situation. You know the truth about this person. But yet you're still kind of confused. There's still some kind of confusion here. Something that you don't really understand. Something that you don't really understand. Let's quickly go into this. Find the seven of cups guarding this mini message or whoever. We have the seven of swords here. So somebody could have been up to some trickstery shit. Okay, there's two of swords, a decision. Two cards here. Okay, so I think you might flat out just reject something or cut something out. You're just you are choosing to reject and cut it out with the king of swords. You're slicing that shit out because whoever you're dealing with. Whoever this is, whoever this soul type connection is, like it, like I said, it could be a family member, friend, lover, co-worker, whoever, somebody who just impacted your life, okay? They could be somebody who is a liar, a manipulator, a trickster, somebody who's just up to no good. Somebody who's up to no good. So maybe something you're not expecting happens, but it, it ends, it ends. It happens quick, but it ends quick. So I don't know who needed to hear that. That was for somebody, though. I feel like that was more of, like, a little side message. Let's see. Let's see more. Okay, let's go into the Seven of Wands, please. Ten of Wands reversed. So you're releasing burdens. Ten, Knight of Swords reversed. You're releasing these burdens. You're releasing things that were holding you back. You're no longer letting that take control of you you're standing your ground you're not even gonna let these motherfucking burdens stop you from pursuing what you want because you're going the you're going away from that stuff you're literally moving away from the burdens you're moving away from the burdens you see the burdens you're moving away from them you're moving away now if it's upright you can see it you're 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 running away from the shit you've dropped it and it's time to let 
go. It's time for you to go away. Like, drop that. You don't need it. You don't need to hold on to it. And it's literally saying here, you have the three of wands reversed. So you're 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 no longer waiting. You're gone. You're you've taken off. You're gone. Like you're nowhere to be found. It's just like dust, right? Two of pentacles reverse you've made the decision you were juggling it you were weighing it out you're like i don't know i don't know you made the decision you're like fuck it i'm doing this i'm doing that right whatever this decision was let's actually kind of look into this some of you may not know what this kind of the two of one pentacles reverse with a wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck so whatever this decision was i see that you're manifesting something better yeah, something better that has a lot more growth and potential, and you're releasing whatever was holding you back, whatever was causing pain or sadness, you're releasing that. So that, I don't know, that's for somebody out there, you're just dropping the shit, you're dropping the burdens, you're, undro you're dropping the unnecessary shit, because you don't need it, and you got better things to focus on. Talking about Page of Swords, who's watching Sagittarius, or are you what, Seven of Wands? <laughs> Double confirmation coming at the page of oh king of wands reverse could be dealing with another fire sign talking about the page of swords the tower reverse oh maybe this is somebody you had the ending with oh yeah because right that i was clarifying up here and there was an ending here and now you get the tower reversed here maybe it's somebody you had an ending with and so they're watching you from afar watching you success Six, watching you success watching you succeed because now we have the ace of pentacles here you're taking this you're taking advantage of this opportunity you're standing your ground you're not letting anybody get in the way of it now you do come off a little bit defensive and you're like you're literally protecting this pentacle it's like imagine this pentacle but like you know behind the guy who's like defending it it's like you're defending your pentacle you're defending this opportunity because you don't want this person to sabotage it you don't want this person to get in the way of it you don't want this person to ruin it for you you don't want this person to jinx it for you and it's definitely somebody who's just like could be condescending could be talking down to you somebody who just kind of thinks they're all that thinks they're the top shit but really they're not somebody who has a big ego and somebody who also likes to confront people and like start arguments i just don't know why i'm picking up on this and i i feel it i literally feel in it in my third eye <laughs> but whoever this person is they like to start shit they like to stir the fucking pot they like to stir the pot and why am i looking at this ace of cups like a pot <laughs> like like just imagine what the it's like a pot i don't know but it's just like this person you may be coming off defensive towards this person because you know that this person doesn't want you to succeed and you're like oh hell no oh hell no and you're protecting your opportunity because this person's like oh but i want to rebuild this i want to come together with you no 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 and you're like hell to the no so that person could be watching you from afar let's go to this ace of cups come with the ace of cups for Sag. Oops. Queen of Swords reverse. Hangman. With the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Seven of Swords. Okay. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. I'm getting like. Getting kind of like mixed. I'm gonna just read it as it is, and then I'll maybe we'll clarify more. So there's this there's this opportunity for emotional fulfillment, or like opening up, or like I don't know. Somebody is trying to. This is about welcoming new love here, but I feel like you could be closed off to it. You could be closed off to it. We had the Queen of Swords reversed here. Maybe you don't trust it now. Maybe this is somebody from your past. This past person who's trying to get in the way of you and your success. And so maybe you don't trust it, and so you're taking the time to reflect and go into introspective mode to, like, really see what the fuck they're up to. Because, look, we have to stem the swords here. It's like you're having a hard time trusting what this person's saying because you're like, uh-uh, your actions say otherwise. Like, oh, hell to the no, right? Like, there's, they could be up to some deceptive shit. And so, therefore, you're kind of just waiting. You're not taking much action. You're not declining it. You're not accepting it. You're just kind of like eyeing them out. You're like, hmm, what is this person up to? I don't trust it. I don't know why I'm getting it. Let's get a couple more. Because I, I do feel like this this 
Ten of Pentacles is really important to you and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Like you're like, look, we have the two of cups reversed. Like you don't want to come together with whoever this person is. We have the nine of wands, which is like you being very dedicated and putting in all your time and effort towards this, this goal, this Ten of Pentacles. You're working so hard to receive this Ten of Pentacles. And it's just like, you just want your, you just want to be balanced financially. Oh, my incense burned out. I have another one that isn't finished. Hold on. You want to be abundant. That's that's your wish. That's your goal. You just want to be abundant and you don't want anybody to get in the way of that. So is there anything else for this Ace of Cups? Chariot? Anything else for this Ace of Cups? Oh look, Ten of Swords. What? Okay, I, I don't know. Oh, look, and Queen of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. It's like you're closed off to whatever this offer is. And you're working you're working so hard, you're closed off to love. Time of the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius. The Star. Four Wands. Okay, see, like, this is so... It's like taking confident action, but then we have the Ten of Swords. And you're working hard but you do have it so it's like it's like you were hurt badly in the past and you're like you don't want to be hurt like that ever again and so therefore you're just really working on your money but you do desire to have this new beginning or a beginning with somebody hopefully probably somebody new somebody who's not trash and you do want something that's stable and like grounded but you're just scared to open up kind of what i'm getting somebody's scared to open up and so therefore you're kind of waiting to see what this opportunity is before you say yes or no because you don't want to say yes to the wrong thing i don't know let's get some for oh wait let me actually shuffle it for capricorn's person who is capricorn dealing with i mean this could just be more about you and your situation but let's go into capricorn's person please find about capricorn your person oh capricorn this is sagittarius why did I say Capricorn? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. That's so weird. I'm sorry. The last reading I did was for Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know why. So maybe your person you're dealing with has Capricorn in their chart or their Capricorn. It doesn't necessarily. That could just be the energy they're picking up on. Talking about, um, I was about to say Capricorn again. Talking about Sagittarius person. Damn. Two Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. See, okay, look at all this Earth. Maybe they are Capricorn. Talking about, I was about to say Capricorn. <laughs> Some of you may actually be dealing with one. Look at all this Earth. Seven Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles reversed. Just saying, all that Earth. Okay, talking about Sagittarius person that they're dealing with. Talking about Sagittarius person. Six of Cups. Talking about Sagittarius person and the Sun reversed. Bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy, just saying. So somebody's juggling something. Something. I said something. So if somebody's juggling a decision, they're not really sure. They're weighing it out. There's this page. There's this page of Pentacles here. They have an opportunity. It's really slow and steady, though. Really slow and steady. But whoever this person is, they're definitely reminiscing about you, Sag. Or you could be reminiscing about somebody if this is your row. This is somebody who's reminiscing, thinking about past times between you. And maybe this is the person you had, like, this tower moment with. And we have the sun reverse. So they're obviously unhappy. Whoever this person is, they're very unhappy. Don't know why. Don't know what happened. And we're going to clarify to see why. Oh, this has been 24 minutes. Okay. Let's go into Sagi's person. Oh wow, Nine of Swords wanted to pop out, so this person's experiencing some anxiety over here. I guess I'll just put that aside, or I'll just slide it in here, and I'll clear, I'll shuffle once more. Okay, talking about the Two of Pentacles for Saggy's person. Kind of the two of pentacles regarding Saggy's person. Page of cups reversed, so maybe there's no communication or very little to none with this person. Kind of the two of pentacles regarding Saggy's person. 
King of Swords reverse. This person has their guard up too, and oh, this card fell out, but I caught it. The Chariot, uh, Cancerian energy could be dealing with Cancer, but this person, so it's like, there's no communication, or very little to none. They have their guard up, but they want to take forward action, or maybe that's what they're contemplating. It's like, they have their guard up, but they're not sure, like, maybe should I lower it? Should I reach out? Should I not? So somebody here is contemplating communication. Could be a Cancer, it doesn't have to be, though. But somebody here is weighing out something. Weighing out, yeah. I have the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Sagi. Man, I don't know why, but the cards just aren't speaking today. It's weird. Like, sometimes when I shuffle, like, they come out real quick. You have the Eight of Swords here. Okay, now they're speaking. Page of Swords. This is the person watching you. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. Anything else for the Page of Pentacles? Three of Cups reverse. Devil energy. Capricorn energy. I was saying Capricorn and now the devil's showing up. So could be dealing with Capricorn as well. Whoever is giving this page of pentacles, whoever is extending an offer, this counting the things where you hear Canadian goose. Canadian geese. Whoever is extending this page of pentacles, this can also resemble kind of an apology as well. They're feeling kind of stuck. They're feeling stuck right now. They're not really sure where they should head, where they should go, what they should do. They don't know if they should reach out or not. We have the Page of Swords here, which is like they're watching, they're creeping, they're lurking, they're stalking, they're talking, they're walking. Uh, and then they want balance. They want stability. And there is no communication, no coming together, no reconciliation as of right now so they're like contemplating do i reach out but right now instead of instead of actually reaching out they're just they're just reminiscing how about the six of cups oh. five of swords so there could have been an ending between you and this person there was definitely some kind of loss here how about the six of cups they feel they feel the loss they definitely whoever this person is they feel the loss they missed out. They are missing you. They're realizing what they don't have, what they lost. Oh, look at this. Five of Cups. This person... Yeah, and look, Four of Pentacles... Sorry, Four of Wands reversed. This is about a broken foundation or just like something that wasn't solid. So this person is definitely reminiscing about you. This person you have separation with, they're reminiscing about you. They realize that they missed out. They realize that they fucked up. They realize their mistakes. They realize where they went wrong. And that there's no communication, very little to none. Maybe them seeing that you're moving on and doing better things with your life is making them feel bad in themselves. Like, making them feel worse about themselves. And it's just like, okay, well, that's your own fucking problems. Like, yeah, obviously. But they're obviously, like, feeling more insecure and shitty about themselves and where they went wrong. And they're like, damn, I really fucked up. And so, therefore, they're kind of in their own self-pity. And like, oh, what was me? Literally, though, because now we have the sun reversed. Yeah, it's like they're reminiscing, and they realize, and they're just, oh, what, what was the thought that came in my head and it disappeared? I don't know, I feel like this person just, like, definitely missing out. So, I don't know, I, the thought went away, sorry about that. How about the sun reversed regarding Saji's person, please? The wheel of fortune reversed, yeah, this person's, like, stuck in a limbo. Eight of Wands reverse blocks in communication. Oh, what was that? I don't think that was it. Oh, well. Talk about the Sun reversed. Talk about the Sun reversed regarding Saggy's person. Queen of Cups. Okay, this... Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so this person could definitely be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And there's a lot of cups over here. A lot of cups. So, they're definitely not really happy with, like, obviously the separation and they're feeling like they're missing out and like the wheel is definitely not turning in their favor at all it's, if anything it's turning in the top rows person like the top row person it's turning in their favor like they're reaching their success they're working hard they're gaining their coin whatever yeah the wheel of fortune reversed um this person who's dwelling and crying over spilt milk and feeling oh what was me sorry for 
like they're feeling sorry for themselves. Uh, it's definitely not ro rotating in their favor, <laughs> rotating, turning in their favor. And there could be blocks in communication or very little to none or, you know, somebody could be blocked. And we have the Queen of Cups here. It's like this person, definitely a water sign energy, very emotional. I feel like this person's definitely been like in their feelings, definitely in their feelings. Okay. So let's just get like a quick, like, where is this expected to go from here on out? And then we're going to do a quick little single spread. How long has this been? 30 minutes. Okay. And then I'll get advice for everybody at the end. Oh, I, I just realized this, this incense went out. Oops. Um, where is this connection expected to go between Sag and this person? I feel like Sag or like the top row person isn't really feeling it and they just want it to die. But the bottom row person is just like, oh, I want Sag back. They don't realize, they didn't realize what they had until it's gone. Just saying. It's like that, it's like that Linkin Park song, you don't know what you got till it's gone. I, don't know, I, I know that's not the title, but that, that's like a line in the song. I don't remember what it's called. But now I have that song made up. I don't know what the song's called. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't listened to them in like years, so I don't remember what it's called. But it's like, oh, Till It's Gone, duh. So maybe that song is like resonates for you or some shit. No, resonates for the person who's crying over the spilt milk, you know? Feeling sorry for themselves. They don't know what they had till it's gone. And that's the truth. That's the tea. Like, you take advantage of a person and they're like their kindness. And then as soon as they take that away, they and the person who's taking advantage, they're like, oh my god, you're who are you? You've changed. It's like, actually, no, I'm just taking back what's mine because you don't deserve this shit. You don't realize what you got till it's gone, beach. Anyway, <laughs> where's this connection expected to go? Between Sag and Water Sign, Earth Sign energy or whoever the fuck that was where is this connection expected to go sad to the person or that person in the last reading oh no <laughs> i mean hmm. hold on let's get a couple more i mean maybe you guys want this but we'll see Okay, so it's looking like, but the sun's still reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh, uh, we have the Knight of Cups here. More, what is this, Cancer energy, Piscean energy, whatever, it's water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. An offer. We have the Three Cups here coming together, reconciliation or just reuniting with somebody. Right here. We have the Three of Swords reversed, so it's just like getting over whatever heartache there was. And healing we have the seven of Pentacles so trusting your ideas trusting your direction and keep planting those seeds being patient within yourself we have the ten of cups here which means you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled and feeling real good you're gonna be feeling happy you're gonna be feeling you go be feeling like you have everything you ever wished for in a relationship and with justice, justice will be served. So any wrongdoing, any pain, anything that has happened between you and this person, just know there will be balance in this connection, okay? But honestly, kind of looking like you may come together with this person again, give another try, and you may actually end up with a Ten of Cups. So this person may actually be genuine and actually want you back. That's up to you if you want him back, too. It's up to you, your own free will. If you want him back, go for it. If you don't, then you don't have to take it. Let's get advice, or, okay, we'll do a quick single, sorry. Alright, any messages for my singles, real quick? My single Sagis who aren't dealing with anybody. Anything we can expect from the 23rd to the 30th of September 2019? Anything they can expect, real quick? my Sagis regarding love and career. Okay. Any messages for my single Sagis who are in a relationship, not currently dealing with anybody? Any messages for my Sagis? 
Mark, how are you doing with nobody? God, so many cards. Okay. Any messages for my Saggies? Who are single? Ew. Not loving it. Okay, so for my singles, gotta be honest here, not really loving it. Now, you are rebuilding yourself. You're gaining back your momentum. That's great. Keep it up. You are holding on to some, something, somebody. Definitely holding on to something. Sorry, I'm just getting major pressure in my head right now. <clears throat> Definitely holding on to somebody, a place, person, thing, whatever it is you're holding on to. It's like, it's almost like saying it's time to, well, for some of you, I think it's time to let go. Now, there may be a new beginning, but this may be about career. It's saying to follow your passion if you have it already. If you have a passion, follow it. You may be feeling a little bit lonely and like a little bit stressed out, okay? So try to release it. Try to be comfortable by yourself. Try to just own your singleness. Own that. Own it. Yes, you may be tired of being single, You may, but just enjoy it because once you're not single, once you're committed, you're committed. There's no going back, okay? You can't just like cheat on them unless you are a piece of shit, you know? So like enjoy your singlehood while it lasts and try not to stress out like i don't know what you're stressing about what are you stressing about magician the fool reversed you're worried that you're manifesting you're mad maybe you're manifesting a new connection and you're worried that it's not coming in but it's like you just need to be patient okay so whoever needs to hear that you need to be patient let's get advice now for everybody sorry that was a quick spread but like i'm just getting kind of tapped out so any advice from my saggies regarding love in career like the last readings I did. I don't know why I said whatever, it doesn't matter. Any advice from the Saggies? Any advice from my Saggies? Any advice from my Saggies? Moon Rising Venus. Any advice for my Saggies? Eight of Swords Reverse. Yeah, release that shit. Release any anxiousness. Release any of your anxieties. We have Three of Wands Reverse. It's time to take action. The Magician. It's time to manifest. You're a manifestation mode. Oh, wow. Cards be falling out a lot. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have Temperance. We have Seven of Cups Reverse and Judgment. We're going to take those cards. Okay, so like I said. Time to release any anxiousness, any stress, any fears, any worries, anything that's not helping you move forward or succeed. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. You don't need it. The three of wands reverse. It's time to take action. What are your goals? Where do you want to be by the end of the month? Well, I mean, there's like a week left of this month. Where do you want to be by the end of the year? Okay. Set some goals for yourself and really work towards them. You're in manifestation mode, so be very aware of what you're thinking because what you think is what you attract. Okay. We don't want to be attracted to negative shit. Okay. Facts. So it's time to focus on things that are going to bring happiness and stability into your life. Now, I do see that there's going to be a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new opportunity. Perhaps it's about your money and your finances or just something that's more about yourself and your own progress, 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 self-growth, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, like for yourself, like your self-growth. And just know that whatever work you put in towards yourself or your money or your work you're going to be rewarded. So just know whatever month, whatever money, whatever energy you put in towards yourself and bettering yourself and your month, your fuck, bettering yourself and your wealth, just know you're going to be rewarded for it. We have temperance here, which that's great. You guys are in your energy. Keep it up. Keep that balance. Keep that peace. Keep that momentum. Okay. You got this. It's time to find the clarity through the calm. Just stay relaxed. You don't need to stress out. It's time to just release any of your fears, your stresses, your worries, and just let it go. You don't need to. Like, what's the point of holding on to it? Just let it go. You don't need that shit. It's just gonna it's just gonna stop you from moving forward and getting what you want. We don't want because 
you're in manifestation mode, do you want to attract more stressful shit? No. Hell to the no. We have step, oh wait, it was reversed. Seven of Cups reversed here. So you're definitely seeing shit clearly. You're seeing things in a brand new light and you're not letting your emotions get the best of you. You're not letting these fears and stresses and worries and anxieties stop you from moving towards what you want. You're not going to let that cloud your thoughts. It's not going to let, you're not going to let it get in the way of your success. And judgment here is like, okay, so you have a decision to make. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? It's time to make a decision. Otherwise, the universe is going to make a decision for you. So if you don't make and decide now and you don't take action, the universe is going to force you on this path, whether you like it or not. And usually when the universe does that, it's they throw, they throw you under the bus. Like literally hard shit comes your way to throw you on the path. Like you guys can be stubborn sometimes. And when you're stubborn and you refuse to like do a certain thing or you're like, oh no, that won't work out. But the universe keeps like nudging you and you're not listening. They like purposely do something, throw something in your life so that you get on that path. So like it's better off you just like take that action. Have compassion with yourself, especially if you've been experiencing all this stress. Have compassion with yourself, <laughs> with yourself. But just realize and be mindful that this stuff you need to release so that you can have better things come in, okay? So that was your reading. If you got something from this video, that's awesome. Comment below. Let me know down in the comments below if this is your story, or if you got anything from this video. And with that being said, that was your, I already said that was your reading, but that was your reading. And I will talk to you in the next videos. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.